I'm going to share with you one game changing hack using a simple tool that will help you keep your gaze with a lens so that way you connect with your viewer. But how well does it work and which software works the best? Let's find out in this video. A lot of times people will use a teleprompter or a script to make sure their message is on point when it comes to video. But the thing is, is that it can often make it look like they're reading instead of naturally just talking to the viewer. And to be quite honest, nothing breaks a connection with your viewer like being shifty eyed, if you know what I mean. Have you ever seen a video like that? I know it just doesn't feel genuine, right? So I want you to meet eye contact AI. And if you haven't heard of this before, it's basically artificial intelligence that adjusts your eyes. So it makes it look like you're looking right at the lens, even if you're reading off of a script that's to the side of the camera or using a teleprompter and your eyes are looking a little shifty eyed reading a script. But how well does this work? Okay, so yesterday I tested it out. I compared three different tools to see which one gave the best results. So let's find out. Okay, first up, here is how I recorded my script on video. I simply printed out my script and then taped it to the side of my lens. Okay, <laughs> let's see if this works. Okay. Looking at the lens, now I'm going to look at the script. Here's one of the biggest mistakes I see entrepreneurs do when it comes to video. Next, I tested it out for free using CapCut. So we're gonna click here, down here on the video file in our timeline. And then on the right hand side with the video tab selected, there's a feature now called eye contact. So let's see how well this works. Oh my goodness, did you see that? It literally reminded me of the Disneyland Haunted Mansion ride when the pictures all of a sudden look at you. Now, let's see what it looks like when we play the video. Looking at the lens, now I'm going to look at the script. Here's one of the biggest mistakes I see entrepreneurs do when it comes to video. They listen to the popular influencers with big audiences saying, just push record and show up. Okay, so looking at this, when I blink, it looks like my eyes are shifting, which makes it look like I'm glancing at a script, which is not what I want. Plus, in my opinion, my eyes look a little fake. Um, let me know in the comments what you think. Now, this is a free version in CapCut. I'm sure they're gonna make improvements to this as well, but this is what it looks like right now. Okay, so next I'm gonna compare it to captions.ai. For $10 a month, you have access to the eye contact AI tool along with a bunch of other tools they have. So let's give this one a try. So inside captions, you're going to click on effects and then just click on eye contact and turn that on, hit apply. And now let's compare what it looks like. Okay. Looking at the lens, now I'm going to look at the script. Here's one of the biggest mistakes I see entrepreneurs do when it comes to video. They listen to the popular influencers with big audiences saying, just push record and show up. Okay, this one is definitely better. Again, it's not free like CapCut, but also I'm not crazy that it automatically places a beauty filter on the video. It makes me look like an AI avatar almost. Um, it could just be a setting that I didn't turn off. I'm not sure. Okay, next up is Descript. So Descript is a video editing suite with a bunch of different tools, including eye contact AI, when you upgrade to the creator plan, which is $35 a month. So let's give this a go. I'm gonna make sure that this is selected my video. And then under effects, I'm going to click on eye contact. Alrighty, looks like it's gonna take a few minutes to adjust the eye contact. Once it's done, I'm gonna export it and let's see what it looks like. Okay, 
Looking at the lens, now I'm going to look at the script. Here is one of the biggest mistakes I see entrepreneurs do when it comes to video. They listen to the popular influencers with big audiences saying, just push record and show up. Okay, so looking at this right now, I think this is the winner. What do y'all think? Did you notice um, this Californian kind of sounded like a Texan? <laughs> okay, but looking at this, I think this version from Descript looks the most natural. And let's, right now, let's just put them all like together on the screen so that you can compare it at the same time. But here's the thing, just showing up won't help you get more leads and sales. You need to have a video strategy along with the right messaging in your videos so that you actually convert your viewers. And not only that, but just showing up can hurt your credibility. A lot of these popular influencers with big audiences tend to break the video rules. I mean, they show up with bad lighting and audio, sometimes even with a bed head or looking like they need a shower. And you know what? They can. Why? Because they've already established themselves as a credible authority in their industry. But if you're starting out or you don't have a big audience yet, breaking the video rules will hurt your credibility. This is why you need to have quality looking videos. Okay, let me know in the comments which one you think looks the best and which one you're gonna try. There's CapCut, which is free, Captions.ai, which is $10 a month, or Descript, which is $35 a month. And of course, with all of those different options, you have access to a bunch of other amazing tools that they offer as well. It's not just for the eye contact AI. So let me know in the comments which one you're gonna try. And then also too, I wanted to share some tips so that way you get the best results when it comes to using eye contact AI. Okay, tip number one is to make sure you have natural movement. So even though you're reading from a script, you want to pretend that you're talking and have the normal gestures that you would. Otherwise, it'll look very robotic, which is not what you want. Tip number two is to have your script as close to the lens as possible. So either on the left side or the right side, um, that's what I did to get the best results. Tip number three is to make sure you have good lighting. Great lighting will help the AI be able to track your eyes and make the adjustments. And tip number four is to check for updates. You know, AI is improving like at lightning speed. And so you wanna make sure that you're using the latest version of the software to get the best results. Okay, don't forget, you can get access to my free training video and guide where I walk you through step-by-step -step how to film yourself professionally on a phone. So go ahead and click the link below this video. And if you wanna use a teleprompter while using eye contact AI, or maybe you just simply wanna use a teleprompter, then you can watch this video that's on the screen right now. It is my favorite and free teleprompter app for an iPhone. If you don't see it on the screen, no worries. I'll also link this video below this video. Alrighty, I will see you later.